Welcome one and all to 64. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today I build a bridge to the unknown that leads to the ultimate prize, the ability to fully automate my factory. But doing so won't be so easy as I'll have to rearrange my entire setup to accommodate and try to figure out how to build a better mousetrap. Can I take advantage of this new machine? Let's find out in 64. All right, here we go with some more 64 and we're about to get to the next stage of the game so let's get right into it and continue and load this silo here now some of you may have noticed that things look a little different from when we last left off and that is because I have done something that I very rarely do and that is skip content although in this case there wasn't much content to skip so I did start a video picking up where the last episode ended and that was to build a fourth hell vault because we needed to be able to isolate the 4,000 hell gems needed to build the inverse challenge here or not challenge the inverse chasm it is a challenge to build this chasm however in order to get the fourth hell vault we needed if I remember correctly 28 million beta pylene and three and a half million of the celestial foam both of which we were not close to getting at all. So I went ahead and built another extracting channel. So we got four here so I can get more celestial foam faster. And then also built a second reactor to get beta pylene faster. And even doing that, the resource generation was fairly slow going. Building these machines took at best 10 minutes and the rest of the hour was spent primarily filling silos and occasionally going into the void here to collect some reality. So that's a video with 50 minutes of primarily watching numbers go up, which isn't a very compelling content. And even after that hour, I still did not have enough to build the fourth hell vault. It took, I think, another 10 minutes after that let alone trying to build the actual inverse chasm which needs 20 million of the Karenite and Elmarine and Canatite and beta pylene. So I already had 28 million beta pylene I needed for the fourth hell vault and an extra 20 on top of that to get to the inverse chasm and an extra 2 million for the celestial foam here and that took another hour so two hours of watching numbers go up. So I knew that I was going to have to just sit idle for a while until I was able to record some actual content. And while I was doing that, if you've also noticed, I spent the time to reorganize everything. Just make it kind of look uh, a little nice and sort of symmetrical. But we were able to build the inverse chasm here, a bridge to the unknown. I don't know what's going to happen when we do this. I thought the void was already the unknown, but apparently there's a second unknown. Where do we want to put this? Um, down here? I kind of want to put it here in the center. Hold on. Let's take this and move it. And move it to this corner. That actually doesn't look great, does it? Uh, let's move it up here. There we go. Okay. And grab this inverse chasm. Settle it right here. Oh, it says chasm on it or CH-ASM. Interesting. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that. It's connecting to all of our materials. Do we have any new texts? In those two hours I spent building up resources, there were no new texts either. No, no texts yet, but we do have new machines. The Gradient Well, an everlasting mineable cube, responds to most destabilizers and resonators should be connected to the inverse chasm via conductors. And then we have conductors connects the inverse chasm to industrial silos. Interesting. We want to connect them to the silos here. Specifically industrial silos too, not the regular silos. That's another thing I did while I was <laughs> waiting for my resources to go up was I think I got everything here upgraded to the second level silos, the industrial ones. Except for, I think these these here on the outside are the only ones that are not upgraded. But they started to get expensive. 
Okay, anything else new? Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, a containment silo. A containment vessel upgrade. Stores 32,768 chromoliths, preventing their fission, and consumes reality. Oh, jeez. Holy cow, 268 million Karenite? How? <laughs> 268 million. 134 million Elmarine and 134 million Canatite. Holy cow, that is a whole lot. Although, going from storing 32 chromolites th to 32,000 chromolites is huge. What do we need that many chromolites for? Those are the only three new things. Wait, how much does Gradient Well cost? 80 million of... Is it the Karenite? 40 Elmarine and 40 of the Canatite. And then 20,000 of Void and 10,000 of Reality, which is no problem whatsoever. Yeah, we need to store a lot of Chromolits for some reason. Interesting. Okay, hold on. We are... We're stopped here. Too busy reading. Everything's gone out. There we go. Okay, let's try this conductor. Connects the inverse chasm to industrial silos. Oh. Oh, look at that. They're like little wires coming out. Okay, so I put this there. Oh, and it moves and it connects it. Oh, I got new texts. The more I think about it, the more I understand it's not just your machines that are not real. I try to ask myself specific questions and I don't have answers. That's what I've been saying. He's not real. Maybe I'm not real. Am I going to respond to that? Oh, remember I mentioned that cops were searching for you. I wasn't messing with you, but now everything falls apart when I ask myself questions. What questions are you asking yourself? Did I come to this police sta station or did I call them? And who was there? Cops? Where is that police station in the city? What is this city? Do I live in this city? What's the name of the city and what state is it? Or are there any states at all? Interesting. I can't answer a single question. Everything seemed normal until I started asking questions. I'm afraid to ask more. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's my response. You're ha <laughs> my friend is having an existential crisis, and I'm like, sorry. No, it's not your fault at all. We are in the same boat as far as I can see. I just hope you'll find out what this boat is. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's a little scary. Let's see how it ends. I just hope this is not some kind of eternal hell or limbo. Show him, Dante. Okay, is that, is that all? Okay, that's all. Okay, we're connected to this. What is this doing? And we're also connected to all of this here. Should we connect more silos? It doesn't cost a lot. Let's connect this one. Can I click and drag? Oh, I can't click and drag, unfortunately. Oh, I can't make more? Oh, there we go. That was weird. Is this... Is it loading silos? Wait, is that why it's connected to these? Is it... I thought it was putting stuff into our resources. Is it pulling from our resources and then transmitting them through these lines into the silos? Oh, wait, if it does that... Wait, if it does that, that's great. Because then that means we're automated. But that also means I can't... I can't automate these silos in the center. Unless I... <laughs> unless I tear everything apart. Oh, no. Okay, these silos don't go out anytime soon. Uh, this one will. And actually, hold on. These silos go out fairly quickly. 
and I don't know if it'll connect to the regular underground silos. It just says industrial. Let's try this. Oh, it doesn't connect to those. Okay, get rid of those. So they do have to be upgraded. All right, let's try something here. Let's move this away. And... Put this to this. Actually, we could probably place it here. And see if it reloads. Oh, that's super exciting if it does. But I don't know how I'm going to automate all of this in the center. I mean, I could... Could I... No, I can't, because the center line here is servicing two separate channels. I can't get it through, and I can't wait. Can I build under things? I can't build under things. Or did I just build under something? Click on it? No, I can't tell. Wait, move this? No, it's not. it's not going under it. Darn. Alright, uh, refill these. Take a look at this. This is almost done. You can put this over here just to make it go out faster. And we're going to need to run a whole bunch of celestial irradiators. Because we need the Elmarine and the Canatite. And the best way of doing that is through through the chromolite decay. Because running these things, uh, this is not it. This takes way too long, and it produces way too little. All right, almost out. Let's see if it refills. Oh, it did. It just did right there. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, well, we can't do this. We need, like, a second setup over here. Also with silos. And then... Oh, man. Figure out a way. I really, <laughs> I really don't want to take this all apart. I guess we could take one of them apart and move it. Oh, we would have to move all of them and then use all those resources again to build a double. Well, not double the amount, but yeah, this entire center line here, we would have to double if we still want four. Oh, this is awful. Okay, let's connect the ones that we can connect. around here, grab all of this. So for some reason I didn't build one there. Uh, here. Like this. And interesting. Why is this, is that connected there? Wait a minute, zoom in. Oh, it is. It's just very faint. You can barely see that it's connected. And then we're going to do this here, this here, this one. Oh, load. Got to load our silos in the center. And where are we? Here we are. Oh, nope. Which it does mean I need to move this out so I can connect to this one and move this out so I can connect to this one and connect to this one here. Oh, and this one and that one. All right. So we could. Can we move this destabilizer? 
Do we have anything that's like doubled up? Not really. Because we have four different... Four different machines that we want to connect to each block. Right? We want a Hell Gem Injector, a Hell Gem Destabilizer, and then both a Capacitor and a Resonator 2. And something like this block here has all four of those. And then we also have the refinery next to it. How do we get access to this? We would have to get rid of the refinery. Or get rid of a block. Oh, we might have to do that. Yeah, if we can... Come in here. Or actually, maybe... Come through this way. And we'd have to get rid of these two blocks. So we'd be mining less. Mining less blocks. But we'd be fully automated. Oh, and this here... I don't have access to these in the center either. Oh, and I gotta rethink everything. Oh, we have to connect to this one, though. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's great. It just automatically goes down. And... Wait, did anything else change? Let's go in the void. Uh, oh, look. There we get like, a tiny little... Tiny little ones for the conductors. Oh, look at that. Does it give us... Oh, is it giving us nothing? I think it's giving us nothing. Yeah, only, only the larger machines do. The little conductors don't give us anything. Unfortunate. Alright, grab all this. Might as well head up a little bit to the hollow rock here. Oh, that's another thing. The hollow rock, while I was idling, it seems like we've maxed out on the amount of hollow stones we can have. Because it just got to a point where... It started uh, not generating anymore. So I think the hollow fruit is doing its job and stopping hollow stones. But they are generating hollow stones for us. I don't know if there's a way to get it to generate more. I was hoping to have just a giant forest of hollow fruit here. But apparently not. Alright, uh, the other question is, do I want to automate these silos here? Can we support that? Especially if we're going to be getting rid of some of our resource blocks. So the idea I'm having is if I get rid of... We only have to get rid of one block. This block right here. right? If I take all of this out, this row, I can have a conductor Come right here to this. Oh, there's one right here in the center too. All right, let's let's try it. Let's see how it works. We're going to. What are we gonna do here? I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a whole new, a whole new chart to try and figure this out. Let's start moving things. You want to move this. I'm going to kind of move it down here so it's in the same order. Just in case I want to put it back. And then put a conductor going... Oh, we got to break this. Come on, break. Come on now, you can do it. There we go. There, and then right here... So that will grab this one. We lose out on a block. And we can do that all the way around. Right, to grab this, to grab this. Oh, load this one. And to grab this one. 
But then after that, there's still one more, there's still one more silo on every extractor that we need to reach. And unfortunately, they're at opposite ends here. So that kind of means carving another path again. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to do that. I don't think we have much choice. We can get rid of this. Wait, will it not let me? There we go. Because we're connected to this one here. All right, let us move this out. Put our conductor here. And try to automate the fully automate this entire thing. Come on. There we go. Get it. And get one there. Excellent. Which means we can get rid of that. I guess it's not too bad if we got to move everything around. I'm going to do this for now. And then I'm going to go to the drawing board and try to drop some plans of a different layout. And then maybe take the time to actually move everything. All right, conductor. Right there. And then right here. soon as we get this destroyed. There we go. Destroy that. And over here we want it. Where is it? It's this one, right? Yeah, this one. Move this, move that. I'm surprised we don't have an upgrade to the to the the clicker. I don't remember what the name of the actual machine was, but the one that allows our cursor to do more damage. What's going on with this guy? How come you're not getting destroyed? Oh, because you got hit by the capacitor, and now you don't have a backup. Oh, that is awful. The capacitor is hitting you, but eventually, when things are being loaded, you'll get to a point where it doesn't it doesn't work. So I might actually want to swap you out for a resonator two, so that doesn't happen. You're getting destroyed a lot slower. I mean, we could put it in the center here. We could put this here feel so bad though okay come over here or what about the void resonators maybe now's the time we do the void resonator I did have a very lovely comment on last episode letting me know that the void resonator why it wasn't working last episode was because it only happens when annihilation occurs which I believe is the interaction between the hell gems and the celestial foam and so when I wasn't generating, I think it was the foam, then the void resonator stopped. But now that we're running kind of smoothly and we have almost full automation going, I might be able to run the resonators now. And if that's the case, if that's the case, I probably don't need four. Oh, this is not good here. No, this, this can't be here because it has no silo to feed it. If that's the case, I might not even need the the capacitor and the resonator. I just need the void. Okay, let's try that in a spot. We're going to try that. Where are we going to try that? Where's a good place? Right here, perhaps? Let's move these away. I don't want to really destroy anything. 
and oh no wait I have to this is an upgrade isn't it put this here put that and do this how is that going it seems slow I mean sometimes it happens really quickly maybe we're just not annihilating enough we have plenty of foam and hell gems. I <laughs> I instinctually uh, went to load that silo and click on it. I forgot. It's automated now. Some of this is automated. How much beta piling do we need? Do we need beta piling? We don't. Well, we do for... Oh, no. Even for the containment silo, we don't. All right. So I'm not going to be running these reactors anytime soon. I might want to be running these annihilators though. So let's move them over here. So they're getting fed. All right, oh, there's, there's so much to keep track of right now and so many new things to figure out. It kind of threw this, this whole, <laughs> this chasm through a big old wrench in my layout. Okay, I don't think this void resonator is really doing it for us. It just, it seems slower than everything else around it. I put these back. I mean, that's definitely faster. That's definitely, I don't know when I'm supposed to use this resonator then. Because it does say... Crushes cubes around it with immense power. It doesn't seem that powerful. It doesn't seem more powerful than the capacitor. I mean, it's probably more powerful here, though. Like, we take this resonator 2 out. That'll be better. So maybe that's where we use it. In those areas. Let's get rid of this. Oh, I got it. Oh, no. Oh, I deleted that. I, de <laughs> I was still on the deletion. There we go. All right. So, we want to upgrade. Oh, geez. Which ones? This one's a good upgrade here. And I think that's this one here. Let's grab this as a void resonator, which means that would be this one here, and also this one right here. Since this, this, this one block here is not being hit by a capacitor anymore. There we go. Oh, almost. I had it for a second there. There we go. We needed more of the chromolith. Okay, now i got to figure out how to automate these silos and I gotta stop try I stop I gotta stop trying to load these silos and I also need to figure out actually I don't need to figure out I can just do this and do that and connect it that way where is our conductor right there and then the same thing on this side. And we'll just bring it around this way. There we go. Oh, load that. Okay. Uh, this right here... I mean, we're going to have to do the same thing where we're going to lose. We're going to lose a block. It feels bad. But then maybe, you know what, maybe we can... Maybe we can fully automate this and then experiment down here with a different layout that will better benefit 
how these conductors work. All right, let's do it. Uh, let's come in here and we want to get rid of, I guess, the one with the capacitor. Yeah, we'll get rid of the inside one. So we'll move all this out and bring a conductor in there. Right, because we can't we can't come in from any other direction. Oh, there's the one in the center here. Okay, we got well. Let's do this, uh, and then we'll figure out we'll figure out the one in the center. So move these out, and move these out. There we go. And move these out. All right. Almost fully automated. There's the one in the middle here. I could carve a path right here and lose this block as well. It's all so bad. It's just so bad. We'd lose this refinery, too. And then we have to take... Because it doesn't go on a diagonal here. We want to move this one. So we can go there and then upgrade this one to avoid resonator. feels so bad but now we're fully upgraded and now we have a bunch of these extra these extra resonators as well as refineries that we can come down here and see if we can make a different layout and then once we figure something out we can probably apply that layout to this main this main block here Move everything down. There we go. Uh, and make sure we're... What else do we want to be doing here? Can I upgrade these silos so I can automate them? I can. This one. And that one. There and there. Excellent. And bring this around. Where was it? It connects like right there. There we go. Nice. All right, so everything's set except for these reactors. I feel like, though, I should be running at least one of them. Because who knows, after we build this gradient well... And the containment silos. I'm sure we're, we're going to need beta pylene for something. I haven't been noticing if we're going down at all. How are we looking here? Chromolits, we're at 23, 22. We're getting little bursts of it. I mean, actually, we probably do want this, right? Because the next hell vault is a whopping 84 million beta pylene. And even though we don't need we don't need the hell gems for anything quite yet, I bet we will in the future. So let's run at least one of these reactors for now. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, this is great. So I can build up, I mean, in between videos and just let this sit idle. I mean, it's not going to run when I close the game, but at least at least I don't have to sit here and continuously load all these silos.
All right. Oh wait. Uh, we although I do have to grab reality. So far, that is not automated. We don't have anything that gets reality. Although, when I was idling, I did notice there were random times when I'd get a bunch of reality at once, and I don't know where it came from. Like, I'd literally be here in this area, building silos, and I'd notice I'd have a spike in my reality game, like one single spike. And I'd be thinking, where did that come from? All right, how are we looking here? I think we're I think we're good in the center. Let's come down here. If we put an extracting channel, we're not going to extract just yet, but we have this. And it's going to need a a valve, right? Let's go ahead and upgrade it. To the pump the pump station now it's gonna need to have a silo attached to it which means the conductor comes out this way somewhere and we're gonna have the coolers around it right now we're still running. Yeah, see, we're still running these four because the void resonators aren't quite doing the job. I mean, here, this void resonator is doing pretty good. It's grabbing it immediately. Okay, let's try, let's try it with void resonators. And we actually don't have enough chromolit to experiment with this, so we're going to pretend that these resonator twos are void resonators and actually I might want to we might need more chromolits let's come over here and hopefully get one of these oh we need 10 million oh the Karenite we need to build another setup of this just to run more more oxidizers because it's still the only thing to make Karenite, we haven't gotten haven't gotten an oxidizer upgrade either. And actually we can put some more oxidizers in right now, can't we? Where are they? We can put one here and one here. Like that. Alright, so for running this. And we have, we still want the injectors. But if we put the injectors here, that puts another silo there, which we need access to, which we'll have. Injector, injector. Come on. What are we missing? Or oh, we're missing the actual hell gems. Oh, 46? Oh, we don't have enough. We need to destroy something that gives us hell gems. And try <laughs> try and try and build this injector real quick. I don't know if I'm fast enough. Let's try it. Uh, come over here, put it right next to this. This should give us enough. Kill it. Build. No, it's not fast enough at all. Go. No, it's not enough. Okay. Well, we're going to pretend we have four injectors. That's an injector. And then, so we're making all these around. And we really only need... A void resonator 
here, here, here. That'll cover three. If we have a resonator here and here, that'll cover these two blocks. And we just sort of, we can grab corners here. And that'll cover all the blocks with resonators. And then we still need destabilizers to touch everything. Wait, uh, destabilizers. So here, here. We would need one here. Like this. That'll cover these two. Might as well put two like that. Sort of like that? What am I missing? We're not missing anything. That's what we need. We need three machines now instead of four. Because we're not using the capacitors. And that means we are... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. No, wait. What if we put these outside? And we just run more coolers in the middle? Like if all of these are coolers? Uh, move this. Oh, wait. Can we get this going super fast? We do active channel coolers all the way around our extracting channel. Can we hit everything on the outside with hell gem injectors? We would need one here. Oh gosh, move everything out, move everything out. Oh, it is actually so nice that we have this automation going because I can spend this time doing this because previously when I was doing things like this, I'd have to constantly be coming back here to reload silos, but now I don't have to do that. Okay. So this injector grabs these two. This injector will grab these three. But we don't have, we don't have a destabilizer here because we need access to this. So one of these things is not gonna have a destabilizer. So we would actually probably wanna put that's awful. We're going to be low on one. So destabilizer hits these three. Put this here, a destabilizer there. Another injector here to hit the corner. Uh, man, if we can build more hell gem injectors. Which we can't, because we need <laughs> we need another hell vault. Okay, so this is why we need this 84 million beta pylene, and why we should be running maybe both of these reactors. We're going up in celestial foam, right? We had like 5 million previously. This does use 4,000 of the chromolits, though. So we need to keep up on our chromolit production. So let's finish this out. Oh, can we not make two? We can only make one. So we're going to come in here, grab this. And we also, man, we need preheaters. That's another thing uh, from the comment letting me know that the preheaters use a bunch of beta pylene, which I did not realize uh, earlier. I knew that the oxidizers use a beta pylene, but I forgot that the preheaters do. But we seem to be, I think we're okay right now. It's so hard to tell. But I, it looks like we're going up. This is a wash. The chromolits are going up. The foam is going up. Hollow stone is up. Void is up. Reality is from us only. Karenite is not really being used for much of anything. Okay, everything's going up. 
it's just a waiting game. I need to make more of these oxidizers. I wish I could rotate. I can't, I can't see the other side of this. I might have to redesign this area here. And I might have to go away with the preheaters, actually. I mean, they're nice, but they're only affecting a small amount. And because now we have all these conductors, I probably want a different layout to this, definitely. And we can use these preheaters, actually, over here. I think they're better served over here to get our our chromolits going faster. So let's go ahead and move them. We got four over here. Uh, over here. And then we can do something about this. How do we want this to go? We can move these in. I mean, I guess that's really the best we can do. Because then we can take one of these silos. Like, if we take this, move it over here. Oh, no, we still need... We got two silos over here. I want to move one of these silos so I can get it set up here. Since we can't quite afford it yet, we can just move, move this one. There we go. And hook this up like that. Get some more preheaters. And hope that we can support all this. And geez, move move everything around. It, it <laughs> these oxidizers are so gigantic. I can't see anything. Every, everybody out of the way. Everybody out of the way. I'm reorganizing all of you. It has to be done. Oh, see, I didn't even I didn't even realize that there was there was another silo here. All right, so we just want a bunch of different setups surrounded, or a bunch of different silos surrounded by a bunch of oxidizers. So let's cut this back. And start it, start it here. Like this. And then another one here. Like that. And wait a minute. No, we want to step back one. What am I doing? We can fit we can fit an extra one in here. Like that. Uh there we go. That's much better. Move this back. Wait, what's the... Oh, I got one right there. And then we want the same setup over here. Get rid of all of this. Uh, yeah, get rid of all this. There we go. Okay, how are we looking on our materials? We got 
the, we're up to the 30,000s for our chromolit, which is good. We're still at 6 million for our celestial foam. And these are the two main ones that I'm looking at primarily, chromolits and foam. All the rest, I'm not worried about. We're gonna gain on those anyway. So you can build another one here. Grab this. And this. And build, build even more. We need a lot of these. Here they are. And at least they're they're not that expensive. You can do another one here. Like that. And we have another silo. Excellent. Of course, we might have to run this other reactor. Depending on how much of this beta pylene we burn through with all these new oxidizers. Alright. How are things looking? How is the hollow rock looking? Still the same. Nothing new. The void. Looking great. Oh, not looking great down here, though. Everything is a mishmash down here. Grab all of this, head up to the hollow rock area. Excellent. All right. Um, how are we looking? Okay, so we're going up in foam. Because this uses a lot of foam, 32,000. I think we can run another reactor. Let's actually move it, though, over here. Move everything over. Oh, and I guess I could I could collapse this, make it easier. Although I don't know if if we get a new text, if it'll pop up automatically. And just in case it doesn't, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it open. Even though it's taking up space. Alright. Get this one connected. All right, uh, we're, we're doing something. <laughs> we're slowly getting there. I probably need more, more irradiators. We need to get to 40 million of these. And actually, what is this here? 80 million. Is this Karenite? It's kind of gray. Well, maybe it's gray because it's grayed out because we don't have enough. And once it lights up, it'll be black like that. I'm presuming it's Karenite because it's at the front, and usually these things are in order. Let us grab a couple more preheaters here. Oh, and we need to, to put some of these vats here. So these preheaters go faster. Oh, and the, the vats are too expensive now because they run out of Karenite. Okay, it is Karenite. Yeah, it goes gray when it's grayed out like that. And we can actually move these down here. That way we can put more vats. 
around in these spots and speed up these preheaters even more. Oh, but we're running them. That's fine. They don't they don't take a lot of resources anyway. Although it's taking a fair amount to build now. Come on, oxidizers. I need I need even more oxidizers. We're still going up in the beta pylene. Yeah, I could just make another row back here and make an entire another row. It's the expense on the the silos though. Yeah, 11 million now of Karenite for the silos. All right. Uh what were we doing down here? We were trying to, <laughs> trying to figure something out. Uh see if we could get it going. I want this like this. I don't think it matters. So this block is the odd one out. Here, this block is getting injected, destabilized, and hit. Injected, destabilized, and hit. Injected, destabilized, and hit. This one here will get injected, destabilized, and hit. This corner injected and then destabilized and hit from this one. And then if we just match this going this way, it should be the same. Injector here. Wait a minute. Destabilizer, resonator, injector, destabilizer, resonator, injector, destabilizer, resonator, injector, destabilizer. So this is extra. And then resonator. Do we have any others? No. Oh, yeah. Way over here. Like that. This goes away. And this becomes an injector. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so it's just this one right here that we can't reach with three devices. I mean, I guess we could, like, we could do that. Yeah, I mean, we, we could... We could go like that. And leave out... Leave out a block. Of course, we just don't have enough to get injectors everywhere that we want. Oh wait, no, this is injector there. That. Yeah, injector here. Yeah, I think. I think something like this setup could work well. But we can't, we don't have enough to build one new, so we'd have to turn one of these setups into this. Alright, how's everything else looking? I think we're going down in Celestial Foam. We're using too much foam. I'm guessing it's both reactors now. So we might have to take one reactor and turn it off. Because we were at 6 million, if I remember correctly. We are going up in chromolits, though, which is excellent. So now we just have to, we'd have to run with only one reactor and see if we still go up in beta pylene without the reactor going. Okay, there goes the reactor. We're at 44 of this, 5.6 of the foam. 
Uh, oh, let's go to the void. Can't forget grabbing this. Is the is the chasm connected to our reality as well? Is it pulling reality? I don't even think we're... Are we using reality for anything? Besides constructing machines, is there anything that feeds from reality? Uh, I don't think so. Let's take a look here. Oh, we'll take a look here once our eyes adjust. Reality. Yeah, it's getting used a little. I don't remember. Is it the the annihilators? Where's our annihilators? No, it requires a hollow stone to operate. I mean, the containment silo says it consumes reality. So once we get up to there... Although, <laughs> that's a long way off. 268 million... Karenite, look how slow our Karenite is going. How many of these industrial, not industrial silos, but the industrial silos and the oxidizers are we going to need to get a decent amount of that? Even even the 134 on the Elmarine and the Canatite seems so far out of reach. I guess the gradient well, though, right? It's an everlasting mineable cube. I don't know what it gives us. Does it just give us everything? But it does look like... I was wondering about the chasm connected to reality. It does not look like it is. Although, who knows? It could have a white line here. Oh, there is a white line. Yeah, I had, I had, to, I had to move it over something to be able to see the white line connected to the chasm. So it is connected to the chasm. All right, how are we looking? Are we going up in celestial foam? Or are we still going down? 5.57. I mean, our irradiators are using foam. How much are these using? Oh, I can't tell. It's moving so slow now. Hold on. Come here. Do this. 8K a pop. That's a fair amount. All right, conductor, another hell vault. Yeah, I might have to, you know what? I might have to do the same thing as I did between this episode and last episode. And uh, just let this idle for a while. Because even if I try to get a bunch of more oxidizers, the problem is getting enough for the industrial silos. It's 11 million per. And that's just going to increase every time I build one. There's just no way. I'd have to take apart something here. Yeah, I'm going to have to let it idle just to gain up enough resources to get to, presumably, this gradient well. Uh, but yeah, that's going to have to wait. We'll see where we are in the next episode because we're at over an hour. So that's going to do it for this one. Uh, exciting new, new items. I'm looking forward to this and... The silo, I'm guessing the gradient well will unlock new items. Or new machines, it should. But once again, this has been 64. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching.